The way in which you log into your student portal and the University of London Inquiry Hub is changing. We're introducing multi-factor authentication, which is where you use your phone to confirm your identity. All you need is an iOS or Android phone and to set up the Microsoft Authenticator app. And if you can't do this, don't worry, there are alternative methods. Your username will also change slightly. In this quick video, we're going to walk you through the simple steps for getting your phone set up for multi-factor authentication, linking the Microsoft Authenticator to your University of London account, logging into the student portal and inquiry hub with the app and your slightly different username, what to do if you get a new phone, what to do if you're not receiving your MFA codes, setting up alternative MFA methods in case you lose or break your phone, getting set up and logging in if you can't use the app, what to do if you change your phone number, and what to do if you've forgotten your password. You can jump to the relevant chapters of the video below or use the time codes. So what is multi-factor authentication? Also known as MFA, multi-factor authentication is a critical security mechanism that protects your account by requiring two or more ways to verify your identity when logging in, such as accepting a sign-in notification on your phone or inputting a code sent to your phone via SMS or phone call. The easiest way to set up MFA is with the Microsoft Authenticator app. If you can't access or download Microsoft Authenticator, there are alternatives to set up MFA via text message or phone call. Let's look at the app first. The first thing to do is install the app on your phone. If you're an iPhone user, go to the App Store and search for Microsoft Authenticator or scan this QR code. If you have an Android phone, search for Microsoft Authenticator in the Play Store or scan this QR code. Now go to the student portal at my.london.ac.uk and click on the Sign In button. As mentioned, usernames for the student portal and Inquiry Hub have changed slightly. You may have previously logged in using a code containing your initials followed by a number. This hasn't changed, but you now need to add at london.ac.uk after the code. This is an essential step as your account is now linked to Microsoft 365. Enter your username with the at london.ac.uk suffix and click next. Enter your password. This will not have changed. And click sign in. You'll see a more information required screen. Click next and then you'll be taken to a setup screen. Click next again to start. If you haven't already installed the app, you'll need to do so before proceeding. On your phone, launch the Microsoft Authenticator app. Make sure you allow notifications if you are prompted. On your computer, click Next. Back on your phone, tap the plus sign at the top right of the app. From the list that appears, select Work or School Account. Then choose Scan QR Code and use your phone to scan the code that appears on your computer screen. Click Next and your setup should now be complete. On your computer, you'll see a screen asking you to test your setup. You will see a two digit number. Back on your phone, enter the number you see on your computer screen and tap Yes. If the codes match, you have successfully set up MFA. From now on, when you log into the student portal or inquiry hub, you'll be prompted to enter a new two digit number on your phone. You'll be asked to pick an account. If yours is not listed on the screen, click on use another account. Enter your username with the at london.ac.uk suffix and click next. Enter your password and click sign in. You'll then be prompted to approve sign-in request. If you've set up to receive notifications in the Microsoft Authenticator app, you'll receive a notification on your phone screen. Tap the notification and enter the code you see on your computer screen. At this point, your phone may use face recognition or ask for your passcode. If the numbers match, you'll see your computer screen refresh and you will have been successfully logged in. If you're getting a new phone, make sure to back up your Microsoft Authenticator app before erasing your old device. Without a backup, you'll lose access to MFA. If this happens, you'll need to contact us through the Inquiry Hub. We will assist you in deregistering the old phone and you can reset up MFA on your new one. 
If you ever find you're not receiving Microsoft Authenticator notifications on your phone, first make sure you have a stable internet connection and you've turned on notifications. If you have an iOS phone, tap Settings, then tap Notifications, tap Authenticator, and make sure the Allow Notifications is on, and Notification Delivery is set as Immediate Delivery. Also, make sure Do Not Disturb mode is off, as this will block notifications. If you have an Android phone, tap Settings, and then tap Notifications. Tap App Settings, select Authenticator, and make sure Notifications are on. If you lose or break the phone you've set up for MFA, or if you forget to back up the Microsoft Authenticator app before getting a new phone, you could temporarily lose access to your account. To minimise the chances of this happening, we strongly encourage you to set up multiple MFA options. Visit the Microsoft My Account page at myaccount.microsoft.com and click on Security Info. If it's not already listed, you'll first need to add your primary phone number. Click Add Sign-in method, then click on Phone. Select your country code from the drop-down list, enter your number and click Next. Enter the capture code if prompted. You'll be sent a six-digit code by text message. Enter the code and click Next. You can follow the same steps to add an alternative phone number in case you're unable to receive calls or messages in the event of your phone being lost or broken. You'll receive a quick automated phone call on the number to confirm. You can revisit this page at any time to change any of the details. If you can't install or use the Authenticator app, you can still set up multi-factor authentication using a text message or phone call. When you see the setup screen, click on I want to set up a different method. Choose phone as your verification method, then click confirm. Select your phone number's country code, then enter your phone number. You can then choose to receive a code via text message or to receive a code via phone call. If you choose to receive your code via text, a one-time password will be sent to your phone number. If you have WhatsApp installed on your phone and you have internet connectivity, Microsoft may send you the verification code by this method instead. If you choose a phone call, you'll receive an automated call shortly. This is Microsoft. Read or listen to the verification code sent to you and type it in on the screen. This step will verify your registration and ensure your phone number is correct. If the code was correct, your registration is complete. The next time you log in, you'll be given the option to receive a code by text or phone call instead. If you're using the text message or the phone call methods, make sure you have a stable phone signal. You should expect the message with the authentication code to arrive within three to five minutes. Occasionally, it may take a little longer to deliver. If you registered multi-factor authentication through text message or phone call, and you've changed your phone number, you'll need to re-register. You can do this through the Microsoft Security Info page. However, you will need MFA to access this page, so this method won't be possible if you've already lost access to your old number. If this is the case, please contact us through the Inquiry Hub and we will help you deregister. If you're able to access the Security Info page, click Change under Phone, add your new phone number and click Next. You'll receive a verification code to your new number. Enter this and click Next. If you ever forget your password, you can reset it easily. Click Sign In on the Student Portal, then click on Can't Access Your Account. Select Work or School Account, Enter your full username, including at london.ac.uk, then enter the capture code you see on the screen. Depending on your setup, you can choose to either use the Authenticator app or receive an email, text message or call from Microsoft to verify your identity. Once verified, you'll be prompted to enter a new password. Your new password should not contain your name or username, and it must contain at least three of these character types. Lowercase characters, uppercase characters, numeric characters and special characters. Once this is done, you'll receive an email confirming your password is reset.